All right, guys, today we're talking about some hardness testing and how that correlates with the results from edge retention. Kind of talk about that, little, that a little bit as well as recap how these did along with what their hardness was. And then we can do some direct comparisons. So I'll start out with the, I guess I should put them like this, of 29CR18. And I thought I had a CJRB to go along with these, but I do not. So the Civivi, the Real Steel, and the two Artisan. You guys remember this Naja did really well in testing. It also feels really good in sharpening. Kind of has that diamond plate skate that nicely done powdered steels usually have did really well in cutting and the people i know that have these are pretty happy with how they actually are in use so i'll start out with this one i did send all these to alex since Kurt is not testing anymore, Alex did go ahead and get a hardness on these. They are all hidden. He did take them apart and test them in a place where they would not be seen. This particular Civivi 9CR18 was 60 for a hardness, which I had no idea what to expect. But for how it performed, 60 seems to be a solid number for the 9CR. And as a recap, this did 134 feet fine edge, 90 feet working edge, and 224 feet total cutting in a 1 inch section. And then that brings us to the real steel. The real steel tested at 58 and a half. Now, from all my experience with real steel, I've had a bunch of real steel. I know even more real steel have been tested. All the ones I've had have been tested. They usually run a little bit softer. I'm not sure why. That's, that's just how they've always tested out. This particular 9CR did 91 feet fine edge, 42 feet working edge for a total of 133 feet. This is 91 feet difference between these two heat treats in a one and a half point spread. Which leads me to believe that the Sencut 9CR, from what these actually cut, they are also probably very close to 60. And because I don't know which, in which order these videos are going to come out, the only reason the Sencut stuff was not tested was the small amount of flat area coupled with the internal press stop pins that did not allow for the ability to get a hardness reading. Just the way it worked out, but my guess would be those are also around 60, looking at the results and how close they were to the Civivi here. Oh, if I can keep the camera still. So then we'll go to the Arroyo here. These are both the AR RPM 9 and the Sea Snake also in the RPM 9. The Arroyo here tested out at 61. This is a new steel. I've only had three examples. I had no idea what to expect. I, however, did not expect this one to be 61. Looking at 
how it cut. And I'll explain more on that here in just a minute. This one did 78 feet fine edge, 80 feet working edge for a total of 158 feet. Now the Sea Snake, same steel, same company. These were done at different times. This one tested at 59 and a half. This one cut 88 feet fine edge, 72 feet working edge for a total of 160 feet. Now, why I was surprised that the Arroyo tested as hard as it did is because the sea snake here actually cut a little bit more on fine edge and total amount of cutting and if you guys remember i had deburring issues with all of the rpm 9 this one i actually had the least amount of issues with and it is the softer of the two that were tested Yes, I will get some more RPM9 to test. If you go look at Stas's one of his videos from not that long ago, he did some D2 against RPM9. And I know early on he had some deburring issues with the RPM9 also, but the newer one he has, he said went perfectly normal. Like any other knife would sharpen, so my guess is maybe they were trying to feel out their heat treat in the beginning. And maybe they have a better grasp on it now. Now this one cutting a little bit more, being softer. Without having a micrograph or anything like that. The heat treat on this one would be a little bit better than on the Arroyo here since this one's able to cut the a little bit more but essentially the same amount with less hardness that tells us the microstructure on this one is better than this RPM 9 here now I did not get to send the Rhea that one went back before I sent these out for testing. I will though, like I said, I'm going to try to get some more RPM 9 and try and get some hardnesses on that also to go along with testing, see if the results are any better than what the examples I tested so far did and where the hardness of those actually lies. So, that is what these all tested at. This is how they did. Now, until I know if they have a better handle on their heat treat, as it currently stands from the examples I've done, the 9CR18 far outperformed the RPM9. And 59 and a half, 61, 60. The other Civivi 9CR that I tested wasn't too far behind this, so I would guess it's somewhere in that mid-59 range as well. But so far, I'll take 9CR18 any day over the RPM9. That may change, but that's how it stands right now. You guys have any questions, comments, anything you want to talk about? I'll try to get to the comments as I have time. Any of you that watch some of my current videos know a lot of this stuff has already been done and I'm just trying to finish these videos up to get them out and I'll get the comments as I have that spare time to be able to do that. So that's all I have for this. As always, I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.